Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're gonna to go over the manure system mod and some other mods included in that. So if this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, so as mentioned, today we're gonna to go over the manure system mod. So there's gonna be several of the items here as well as we're gonna go over some of the different tanks and we're gonna go over a couple of mods and if they still work or if they don't work um, as they go in the manure system mod or you know what works what doesn't work so hopefully this answers some questions you have um so the five mods that are the main mods that you need to kind of run the manure system or you should have to run the manure system are as follows number one the manure system mod you kind of need that one and this is by and that's by wobster which is what the first four are by i'm not sure what the fifth one's by i can double check that later but these will all be linked down below in the description um and that will link it to the mod hub and this is, again, the manure system is for PC only. So just be aware of that as well. So number one, the manure system. Number two, tripod hopper. Number three, the stall camp pump. Number four, the slurry lagoon. And number five is the triangle attacher for a tractor. And I'll explain why you need all those. So let's look at all of those mods. So um, number two, the tripod hopper is going to be this guy right here. And we'll go over how to use it later. But this is the tripod hopper. Number three that i went over is going to be the stall camp pump and that's going to be this guy right here and we'll go over that a little bit later number four is going to be the slurry lagoon which is this guy right here which doesn't come pre-filled but i did already um i didn't fill it very high to be honest with you this thing holds a lot um what do we got hundred thousand liters in here and we're only five percent full um notice as well there's a slurry thickness value up there we'll go over what that means in a little bit okay and number five on the list other than obviously just the manure system mod is going to be the triangle attacher, which is this guy right here. And this is important because you need this to be able to move this around with a tractor. So, and I'll demonstrate that. So if I come in here, I can't pick up the item behind me with a tractor. Well, I can pick up the triangle, but I can't pick up the tripod without that. So now I can move it around. And if I do that, now I can leave them as a unit. So anyhow, I'm going to hop out of there. So one of the things that comes with the manure system mod is going to be these hoses. There are two hoses that are available. So the first one is the standard hose, which is this guy right here. Both ends are the same. It's going to have that kind of cupped end like that and that end like that. And then the, uh, the extension hose is going to have one of the cupped ends and then it's going to have one of the attacher ends. So that's kind of just like that. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, we'll show you those in the store. There's also a fertilizer part of this and we'll go over that at the very end of this video. So starting off, this is just the basics, by the way, too. This isn't like advanced or anything like that. We're just going to go over the very basics, get you going. I'm not going to try every single what if situation in here. The video will be way too long. Uh, if there's specific what if situations you want me to test for you, I'd be happy to do that. But just comment that below. Okay, so first we're going to go over this, the lagoon here. So this is where you're going to store all your slurry essentially for this. And also, by the way, we'll go over how to connect up to animal pens later. That might be where you're getting your slurry. Um, so let's say you have some slurry and you want to store it in here or digestate, you can store it in here. It also says water. I haven't tried that. Uh, it says you can store water in here as well. And that will work with these hoses and everything else. So what we need to do is we need to put slurry in here. So essentially all you're going to do is hook up just like I'm going to show you in a second and you're going to put it in here. That's a mixer. So that mixer, you can come over to here and you'll hit R to turn it on. Right now, it's not going to be available to you because the slurry's thickness is 0%. So if it was a higher level, that would mix it and get it to kind of uh, ease up a bit. So, all right. What we need to do here is we need to learn how to use the manure hoses. We need to learn how to use this guy right here. And we need to learn how to use the pump. And we're going to learn how to hook up various slurry tankers and attachments to this guy right here so we can fill them up. Um, and there's also the way to go between trailers and stuff like that. And we'll go over that in a little bit as well. All right, so what we're going to first do is go over the hoses. So to connect the extension hose to another hose, which is the only way we're going to make them longer, this end is not going to connect. So if I try to connect these two ends, it's not going to happen. Nothing pops up. And I'm leaving the help menu open on purpose. So if I come over here, I can right-click to attach hose, and I can left-click to detach the hoses. Now if I click this end and bring it over, it's not going to allow me to attach those. So you have to click the cupped end, come over, click it, and they're attached. You can drag two hoses around, I've noticed, uh, pretty easily. Um, two hoses is fine. Once you get to, I think, three or four, it uh, it says that you're not a superhuman. It, that's the message that comes up. So anyhow, um, now that I lost it in the pavement, pull it out here a little bit. All right. Yep, seriously did lose it in the pavement. It's stuck. Great. Well, that happens sometimes, I suppose. So we're going to move this hose out of the way since we're not going to be able to use it anymore. At least I can drag it through the pavement. All right. 
weird. Anyhow, so we'll just actually just use one hose for now. All you need is one. Um, so they come up to here, right click, that attaches them. This guy right here, if we hold up over just kind of the hose itself, up in the upper left hand corner, you can hit the right mouse button to open the manure file. No, it's not gonna link manure everywhere. So you can open that. And then to get the hose off, you'd have to close the manure flow with the right mouse button, then hit the left mouse button to detach it. So we're gonna leave it detached. Actually, you know what, we will. We'll grab another extension hose and we'll hook it up. So we're gonna bring this over to here. And again, it's not gonna let us connect it up this way. So we're gonna grab this in, right click, attach them. And I'm actually just gonna move it kind of out of the way for now. So what we're gonna do is take this small slurry tanker here, and we're going to fill it with slurry. So easy peasy. Um, so note that there's no outflow on this side. The outflow is on this side. Some of them have multiples like this trailer or not this trailer, sorry. Um, some of the modded ones actually have multiple where they're on different sides and they're on multiple sides and different numbers of them and everything like that. Um, so we'll get into this tractor. We're gonna turn it on. And so since it's not on the, it's on the left side, not the right side, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little loop here. So we're all on the same side. And I built it up on, I'm in no man's land. So I built it up on a hill for a reason. The reason being, if I built it down there in that flat spot, it would fill it with water because there's a water plane that runs just below the surface uh, throughout the whole map. Kind of even with the lake if you played on no man's land before. But anyhow, so I had to adapt and overcome and I did. So here we are. All right. Also notice in the upper left-hand corner, there's a few functions up there. So R is activate the pump of the slurry tanker and Z is to change pump direction. Right now it says to filling. So the way you look at it, it's not necessarily filling or if I hit Z, emptying like you would think it would be. So emptying is not you emptying the tank you have here, it's emptying your source. And if I go to filling, it's not you filling your tank that's on your tractor, it's you filling the source. So if I was hooked up to the slurry lagoon, this would mean that I was filling the slurry lagoon. So it would be going from my tanker to the slurry lagoon. Now, if I was back over to emptying, it would be emptying the slurry lagoon and filling my trailer. So just kind of think of it as a little bit opposite of that. So we're gonna come out here. First things first, we need to attach these guys. So I'll come bring this guy over here. And once it gives me the ability to right click to attach hose and again, left click to detach. So we'll attach that back up, maybe. It can be a little finicky. So if you come up here, there is no open, uh, there, you see how there's a valve here? There's no open manure flow or anything like that. There's just the detach hose function. You will notice that on about half the trailers, you have to come up here and open the valve and the other half you don't. So you just kind of have to know uh, by coming up and hovering over this to see if you're able to do it or not. So this um, is now closed again. So we're gonna come over here, hover over it, right click to open the flow. That has to be open. So that way the manure can flow. And if anything is not working, it will let you know. So hop back in here. The tractor should already be on. So what we're gonna do, is hit R and it's gonna start filling. And the reason it's filling us up is because it is emptying the source, if that makes sense. So it's on emptying. So it's gonna fill up. It's not gonna be as fast as you're used to filling up slurry tankers and stuff like that, but it is filling. So anyhow, and if I hop out, I can leave the engine on. It's still working. You can still hear the pump going and everything like that. You can still see the volume level going down. So let's say I close this guy. It's not going anymore. You kind of hear the pump kind of struggling. So I'm gonna turn the pump off so we don't blow our pump out. You can't do that, obviously, but um, that would be what you do in real life. So we're gonna detach that hose. This guy's got some in it, so no big deal. And also too, if you come up here and open that, it's not gonna obviously flow manure everywhere. Um, so we're gonna move this hose out of the way, possibly. Again, it's all very finicky. I guess it just detached. So yeah, it's all very finicky. But the cool feature with some of the trailers that you'll notice, oop, it's gonna throw me around. That's no big deal. Grab that again. Again, a little bit finicky. You see how it has this area for the hose to go? I should be able to, oop, you saw it for a second there. There, right? If I can get it to go, attach, hose. And then you can hook it up to there. And you come up and hit left click and it just drops it and you can pick it up, move it around. So not every tanker has that, but uh, some of them, I don't even know why I did that, I wasn't even moving. But anyhow, some of them do do that. So I'll show you uh, at least some of the in-game ones that do do that. So bring this guy over here. All right. So this guy's got some. So the next thing we're to do, let's say we want to take the slurry out of this trailer and we want to place it into the semi-trailer or vice versa. If I come over here, I can now, I'm pretty much in range between, well, actually let me pull forward a little bit more. Um, 
there we go that should work i should have left that hose attached over there but we're gonna hook up to there to there so we should be only we should only need one hose so let me come back up here and grab this extra hose we have laying around before it gets sucked into the pavement or something crazy like that so if you run with them they don't it doesn't like it either so try to walk everywhere you go uh hopefully this video doesn't end up being too long um so yeah and there's a lot to cover so i hope i'm able to do it in at least a way that understands or makes sense to a lot of people so uh, we'll bring this hose over here we can hook up to there theoretically attach it not to there so there's there's that's right this one glitches um and of course it took my hose so i don't have it anymore all right well i'm gonna pause the recording right here and i'll be back with you when i get a hose and i stop having technical difficulties all right so i got the hoses attached so it does attach here just normally like anything else that we've gone over um occasionally i'll have issues with it like i did um and it might be easier to use two hoses using extension hose and whatnot so anyhow we have those connected so we can either pump from this one to this one or pump from this one to this one. And what I mean by that, if I hop in here, I can, so I can, uh, let me see here. I'm emptying, so it's not emptying, so it's not gonna empty our tank, it's gonna empty there. So that one doesn't have anything in it. So you hit Z to filling, and we're gonna turn R to turn it on. So now it's filling, it's going into there. So if I hit R to turn it off again, I can hit the direction Z and I can take all of it back. Just like that. Now, if I hop out of there and I hop into the truck, I can do the same thing from here. So right now it's filling, so it's gonna fill the location or fill the outgoing location. So we'll hit Z to emptying. So it's gonna empty the other tractor. So now we are now filling up our tank like that. I know it's backwards, it seems like with the filling and emptying, but you just kind of have to, you know, do whatever you gotta do to make sure it makes sense for you. So we're doing it from there. So if I hit R, I can turn that off, perfect. So. There's that. Uh, let me turn off these vehicles here. So that's kind of how you fill between two trailers or between here and two trailers. So the next thing we are going to do, which I'm going to need that hose again, of course, um, is we are going to use this guy right here. So we're going to hook him up. Start the engine of the tractor here. We're just going to stage it over here by right here and all of these things you are learning all these attachments all these things are, are interchangeable um, and what I mean by that like um, once we see how this works I'll kind of explain that a little bit more but all of these things will work as long as there's attachment so you're yeah, I can't show you every possible combination because there's just too many so just use your imagination a lot of different possible combinations are out there so if you can think of it it probably works um, all right, let me go ahead and detach the hose and we will detach the hose. We're gonna grab this hose, hopefully, allegedly. And we're gonna take this hose and use it up here, theoretically. <laughs> Running pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. That was a really good run. <laughs> Didn't think that was gonna work. All right, so up here, this is just a regular hose. We can hook both ends up. Uh, maybe. Uh, it's See, it's kind of temperamental, so you got to get it just right. There we go. Oh, and it popped right back out. So let me, instead of getting the tractor back over here and move this, I'm going to essentially cheat. I'm going to turn super strength on, um, and I'm going to move this guy a little bit further away, just so I don't have to. Okay, come on. Drop it. There you go. All right, I can turn it back off. All right. Just to save time on the video. So there we go. Hook that up hook that up. we can open the flow if we want right now it does not matter so this is a different attachment you're like well what, what, what in the world is this for what's it this is a cannon for the slurry to go in the space no it's not so let me show you how to use this so you need a specific trailer for this um any of the trailers that have this boom arm that you're seeing on the side here so this guy right here so you hold left click on the mouse button to move it up down um and all around like that so there you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the end of that nozzle over that black funnel. And I'll also note with this, so this is how, you, so that's a, a method we're about to use as, about, as a second method to fill it. So this also has the attachers on it. So you might think, well, why use this? I could not get it 
I could get it to attach and everything like that, get the hull hose set up. I checked it and made sure all the valves were open and everything like that. And there's, you know, I could not get this tank to empty or to fill through the standard hose head up, even though you could put hoses in there. And I actually haven't tried to see if you can store a hose in there or not. So let's try that real quick. Oh, you can. That's pretty cool. So there you go. You can store a hose on the Samson. Um, all right. So we'll hop in here. And I haven't tried all the ins and outs. I'm just going to show you the basics here. So this is takes a little bit more skill to get this going. So you need it. So it'll start kind of tracking. You see how the funnel's now tracking with it? So once you get it in there, then we can do the same thing. Up in the upper left-hand corner, R to activate slurry tanker, Z to change direction of filling. So if we hit R right now, it's not going to do anything because, well, yeah, there's there's nothing that we're, we can do that direction. So we change it to empty. Now we're, we're filling it up through that pipe right there. So it's coming in and out. And if I hit R again, turn it off, hit Z to switch directions, I can put it back in through that as well. All of these things that we are doing right now work at the animal pens, at the slurry animal pens. They all will work. So now if I pull that out, it's not gonna let me do anything with it. So, ooh, ooh there we go. All right, so that's just another another method for that. So, um, there you go. Now what I haven't tried is if you take like maybe like the semi truck there, hook a hose up to the semi truck, like if this is the semi truck, hook that up and then hook this up to the end of that hose. Could you fill it with that guy? I'm sure you probably could. So there you go, if you wanted to do it that way. I haven't tested it, but I'm sure it would probably work. Um, so there you go, there's that, the pump. So the pump is something that I I know how to use and it's part of kind of the kit, but I honestly don't, and maybe I'm wrong here, maybe it would work with the Samson if you use the pump, but I can't figure out a reason why you would need it um, because you have the pumps in all the trailers. So what we'll do here, just as a little experiment, so I can find out too, we will hook back up to the Samson, which again, it wouldn't work the normal way, just using a hose. So we will hook back up to the Samson, but we'll do it through the pump and we'll see if we can't pump it in that way. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll work or not. So we will try that. Let me turn this off. We don't have a thousand tractors running at once. So we'll back this up, lower it down, and we need to have it hooked up to the tractor while we do this. It doesn't have to be lowered, I don't believe, but you you should lower it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we'll grab onto this, hook up to there. So there we go. That part's hooked up. So now we can hook up something over here. So we're going to need another hose, of course, um, which this is an extension, I believe. Yeah, that's an extension. So this is not going to do the trick. I guess we could hook up to here, but uh, we won't be able to hook up anything else yet to that. So we will go down there and grab our other hose if we can get it off of here. Yeah, we'll let it glitch out. So what it did, well, there it goes. So it'll glitch out until it throws it off, um, usually. Sometimes it takes longer. So I wouldn't necessarily rely on that as a method to get it off there. I would just avoid putting a hose there. However, I was doing it on accident um, just because the connect to the hose and to the trailers right there so all right now it's not liking it when i run anymore all right come up here right click connect that up so now we'll get the samson set up here all right so we will back up this way right into our other tractor <laughs> Ooh, not off the cliff maybe i'll make it back up yeah. Yeah, I know this is a mod to help you increase your realism, but the way I'm showing it to you may not be the most realistic way. So just be happy with what you get. All right, um, if we hook this up here. Perfect, threw me off. All right, so if we hop in this tractor, it has the pump attached. So it's right now it's on left to right. If you hit, if you hit Z, it goes from right to left. So yes, as you're looking at it right now, and right now it's going to take stuff from the slurry lagoon on the right and put it into the trailer on the left. If I hit Z, it's going to take stuff from the left and put it in the slurry lagoon. So it's gonna take stuff from the Samson and put it in the slurry lagoon. So we are going to, um, we need to turn the pump on. It's not gonna let us do that, of course. Let me come up here and open manure flow and then maybe it'll let us turn on so you need both of those open in addition to that being open like it is now 
And this guy, I don't believe, has a flow. Actually, no, this one is one of the ones that does. So this one, open maneuver flow. And yes, when I was trying to load it earlier, I had that open. So everything should be open. So we hop in here. Um, we should be able to hit R now to activate the pump while it's from left to right. That's switch directions. R. Okay, it says it's working. Look at that. So I guess for some of them, you do have to use the pump. So I was saying the pump was worthless, but I guess it's not. So there you go. I guess it depends on the trailer. I would say the ones with the arms on it probably need the pump to fill. Because when you're activating the pump inside the cab of that, it's probably the pump for that arm and not for that. So there you go. You can fill it up that way. So there's a use for the pump. And no, you can't turn this get over here. You can't turn this tractor off while it's running. And you can't close any of these or it'll just should just stop. That of course is still going if you close that. Oh, this mod is just everything that's supposed to have to happen is not necessarily working. So we can shut that. It's still filling. Don't know what to tell you. Um, what if we shut this guy down? Now it's not filling. Okay, so at least some of it works. Oh, boy. Okay, so that stuff you can apply everywhere else. So what we're going to do next is we're going to talk about a couple of mods. Then we are going to go look at the animal pens just to show you the slight difference over there, which it really isn't that big of a difference. Um, and then we're going to talk about the fertilizer hose. So that's kind of what we have next. So bear with me while I get all that set up for you. All right, here we are back. So here at one of the just the small cow pen over here. So here's your slurry tank. So the only difference between this and the lagoon is there's first off, there's no valve. So there shouldn't be any valve you have to turn on or off, but you're just going to left click on a hose, come up to it, right click to attach. So there, oh, it of course fell off. There you go. Oh, and it fell off again. Not sure what's up with that. There we go. Now it's attached for whatever reason. Um, again, very temperamental. It doesn't always work the way you want it to, but there you go. And now you can pull up here with either the tripod or you can use the pump as we just found out, or you can use just the pump that's within a trailer. So there's that. It works just like anything else over here. Same thing. This is a pig pen. Boom. You're all hooked up. Everything's working like it should. So there's that for you. Um, there is one final element that I want to show you as well, another way to fill up your slurry tankers, and I'll go over that real quick. All right, so the next piece of the puzzle here is going over the fuel container. So these guys hook up just like normal slurry deals. You can hook them up with the hoses and connect them that way. Now, it also has that up there, which if you remember, oh, we're in the slurry. That is gross. Okay, anyhow. <laughs> so it has that. So similar to the tripod, um, you can stick with the specific setups that have the hose, you can stick it in there and suck it out and put it back in that way. Now, the final option for you that works with these open top containers, the reason they're open top, is gonna be trailers that have this arm here at the top. So we're gonna move this over, and you probably already know where this is going already. We're gonna try to get, so you get it in, and then, oh, well, we need to start the engine here. All right, and we're sucking it in now. Now, if we deactivate, we again can hit Z and switch and put it back in. Like down below in the corner, you see it's emptying. So we'll turn it off, Z, okay, we're filling. So you can fill that way. If you lift it, well, maybe. It's not gonna do it. You see kind of that fine point where it's in there? And even as the, so it doesn't have to be sticking in the slurry. Oop, zoomed in way too far. As you can see here, it's not, sticking in the slurry so it doesn't have to be just has to be kind of close so there you are as it gets lower though you might as well stick it all the way in <laughs> but there you go that is another way that you can fill up your slurry tanks so before we go let me turn that off it's gonna annoy me all right before we go over um, the fertilizer portion of this went over the fertilizer hoses. I want to go over a couple of mods. So first off, it doesn't work on this. Does not work. Couldn't the hose functions don't work. If you get in here and you tip the F1 screen, it looks like it's going to work. It has a Z function, everything in there. It's not going to work. Not every mod is going to work. This is a modded pack here. This one does work. The hose clamps work well on each side, and it has a valve on each side. So that is very nice about these transports. Same with this one, this is just a smaller version. And it also has the fill tube, which the fill tubes do work. Um, and it's got the hose section on the side, so those do work. We'll go over the placeables here in a second. Also too, before I continue on here, in GitHub, there is 
well, there's a link. If you go into the Mod Hub website on Farming Simulator, you go into the Manure System mod down at the bottom. The creator of the Manure, manure System mod, Wopster, has a link to GitHub, which has kind of a manual going over everything that I talked about today. So if you wanted to read that as well, that's available. And I will link specifically that GitHub link. I'll put that down in the description as well so you'll have that accessible to you. Here are some other mods that, um, some of which I don't know why you need, um, but here they are. So <laughs> this is very similar to the tripod. Um, you can put, you can hook up hoses here and you can attach in there and you can suck it out. I don't know why this is any different than the other one except for yeah, I don't know, except for the little logo on the front or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if it has its own pump. Is that what it is? Nope, doesn't look like it. It doesn't, it needs the triangle thing to hook up. And um, in the store, I'll show you, it says that it's able to hook up to the front of it, or like to a uh, front hydraulic, which I, I couldn't get it to hook up to anything. So uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I couldn't figure out how to use that. Here is just a pump, except the difference between this one and the other pump is it has that deal there. Again, don't know why you need it. Just use the tripod hammer. So anyhow, there's that available to you. Um, it still needs the triangle. I couldn't get it to hook up any other way. So I don't know. Um, this guy is a slurry stirrer, which as you know, up, up top, there's a slurry stir in there. This will not fit into that tank as far as I can tell. I mean, there's probably a creative way to get it in there. The only use I can possibly think of for this is if you're playing on like a modded map with the, the manure system and you need to put it in like a custom animal pen that doesn't have a, I don't know, a stir or not. Uh, as far as I can tell, the slurry tanks on the in-game animals don't need this at all. So I don't know if it's useful or not. Uh, may or may not be. <laughs> all right, so we'll actually, um, what we're gonna do right now, let's actually go into here. Actually, no, we'll do this. F11, we'll go over here, and we'll go in to fly. Okay, so we're going to take a look at some placeables. So as you know, that is the Slurry Lagoon up there. Okay, these three guys are storages. They're all modded storages. They all do work with the manure system on. However, you can't hook up hoses to them. So just like in normal game, you just pull up next to them with a trailer, and you just unload or load that way. So they still work, but they don't work with hoses. This is a buy point. Those are two buy points, and that over there is a buy point. Those are all modded buy points. They all work. They You just can't hook up hoses to them, but they still work. So if that makes sense, hopefully that does. Um, they still work. You can still buy slurry and do it if you don't have animals and stuff to make it and whatnot. But uh, So there's that. Let me turn off flight mode before I forget. I was going to freak out flying around. Okay. Um, anyhow, we'll go to the store and look at some of the stuff now before we go into fertilizer. So under... We'll go into here first. Under wheel weights is going to be your triangle. So down here, here's the tractor triangle. And miscellaneous is going to be the mixer. Over here in slurry tanks is going to have most everything else. So all the in-game stuff is compatible with it. So getting to mods, this is the thing I don't know why you need. Um, this is the back to the um, D754 truck that does not is not compatible. However, you can still unload load just normally. You can't do it at the slurry lagoon, but you can load unload normally. These are those two modded trailers that I tested that work. Here is the slurry hose, and again, you go into here, and it's standard extension. Standard extension. The extension is uh, significantly more. I guess that attachment is. Um, this I believe should work as far as dipping the. So it should work with this style here, where you have to dip the thing in. I haven't tested that, but I believe it does work. All right, go back into here towards the end. All right, here's the stock camp pump. That's when we went up, so we now know the uses for that. There's the tripod hammer. Here's this weird guy that costs more money, and I don't know. It says um, it is designed for the suction arm and can be conveniently transported in the tractor's front hydraulic system. I couldn't conveniently transport that anywhere, so I don't know what they're talking about as far as that goes. And with this guy, it says you can comfortably dock from the tractor seat uh, to the docking station without dismounting. So I don't know if you can, if this is like a pump where you can just, I don't know, have the trailer set up and you come up and lift this. I don't know. You can figure it out, uh, if you want to use it, but, um, we're going to go over just while we're here, we'll go over into, so again, all of the in-game fertilizer equipment will work with the fertilizer hose we're about to go over. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to buy, and I, well, you can change the hose colors. This is for the manure hose as well. We'll just leave it at that. We'll buy it. There is no extension, so this is the length you get. So we're going to go look over that in a second. So I'm going to get that set up, and I will be back with you. All right, here we are. So you can still fill up hitting R like normal, but if you wanted to use the hose, we'll go over how to use that. So it's going to hook up. 
just like normal to that left click nope not that right click sorry to attach the hose not left click now we're not gonna be able to get a hold of it of course there we go right click to attach hose left click to detach so we'll take oh geez i move that guy around all right uh, might be a little too close here yeah we'll go ahead and away okay that should work so that is the attachment on here is that little guy down there that i'm aiming at um I don't know where all of them are for all of them, but uh, you just kind of have to play with it and see. So now if we look up, we can uh, just very, very similar. We can uh, change it Z to put it back into that tank if we want to or fill it up. So that's basically it. That's kind of the end result of it. And again, I can't test every single mod just tell you which ones are gonna work and which ones aren't. That would take me days to do. There are so many between slurry systems and and fertilizer systems and different ways to get fertilizer and such. There's too many, there's too many factors in there. There's no way I would be able to test it all. So I do apologize if that is something you expect me to do, because I cannot accomplish it. Well, anyhow, guys, that kind of comes to the end of our episode. I hope I didn't miss anything. I think I covered everything I needed to. Um, if you have any questions about the manure system, I know a fair amount about it, so just go ahead and comment below, and I'll be able to probably answer your question. Um, again, I don't have all the answers to what mod works for what. Just test it yourself if you want to know if it works, okay? All right, guys, it's been Farmer Cop. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Farmer Cop at Facebook. Join my Discord server. There's a link on Facebook to my Discord server. And as well as that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's up on your screen if you have not already. And turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. Again, I post daily videos. Thank you, and thanks for watching.